world's largest fangs. The top three tips on feeding Gaboon Vipers coming up. Hey Venom Squad, what's happening my brothers? Hey, today we're going to talk about the largest fangs in the world. Of course, the Gaboon Viper. Now, I'm going to show you guys growth rate of one of my Gaboons from the time he was a baby to where he is right now. And the fangs from the time he was a baby to right now at four years old. It's amazing. I've, got, I've collected fangs from this animal its whole life. So we're going to lay them all out for you and show you guys just how crazy big they got. But anyways, we're going to talk about three tips on feeding Gaboon Vipers. How to keep yourself safe, how to keep that snake safe so you don't injure himself. But hang in there, it's going to be fangs in your face, hurt juice flying everywhere, and we're going to have fun today, guys. So hang in there and let's get busy. Hey, before we get started, we got three new members of the Venom Squad. Imagine that. I want to thank you for your generous support and donations to our channel. Eldon Mentor, thank you so much. Sean and Donald Black. Right on. Thank you. Hang in there, guys. We're getting ready to get busy with some stuff. And Thomas Hawk, thank you so much for your generous donation. Okay, guys. Today we're going to do a little bit of everything. But I want to show you guys the correct way and the three steps that I use when it comes to feeding the snake with the largest fangs in the world, the Gaboon Viper. Now, this animal, I produced this animal. He's just now pushing... No, he's a little shy of four years old, okay? And he's getting some size on him. He's starting to become a big, healthy boy. And he's really well behaved. This snake is just as docile as they get when it comes to gaboons. Now, I have other gaboons that are... They're just... They're just gnarly. They're just, they're they're very defensive and they're 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 just cheeky little guys. But this one, he's a puppy dog. But I want to teach you guys and show you guys the right way and the safe way to feed these guys. And my three steps that I believe keep me safe and keep the snake safe. Okay. But I'm gonna show you guys fangs from this animal from the time he was six months old to right now to recent. And he just shed a fang this morning. I found a shed when I was doing some cleaning. Okay, so we're going to break it down for you guys and show you guys the growth rate of fangs and show you just the right way to feed these things and the three most important steps in feeding them safely. But look at this guy. That's my boy. This is going to be a future breeder here. Now, he's only he's just a little shy of four years old, so he still needs another year or two, I believe. I like him to be mature. But he's a big, beautiful boy, ain't he? And he's going to get a lot bigger. He's got a lot, a lot of growing to do. he got a lot of mo to do. But we're going to get with it, guys. And we're going to start feeding some gaboons. Okay, squad. Just to give you a quick look at that. These are the fangs from that snake I just had out on the floor. From that gaboon viper male. Now, like I said, he's just now pushing four years old. He's a few months shy of being four. Okay, but look at the fangs. Oh my God. Now, I started collecting his fangs when he was, he was like six months old. And that's that one right there. Okay. And then all the way up. These are, these are his fangs over the last four years. Look at it now. Unbelievable. I mean, Gaboons grow rapidly. They grow really quick if they're cared for the right way. But look at the fangs. And they shed them fangs. I mean, probably every four to six weeks, I find fangs. So that's how I've got so many of them. I, I find them constantly. But this is that guy's equipment from the time he was a baby to right now. Unbelievable. Okay, guys. My three tips on feeding the snakes with the largest fangs in the world. I, I'm going to tell you, um, first of all, you know, gaboons aren't pit vipers, so they're not working off a of heat signature and things like that. You know, they're sight hunters. They're sight and smell hunters, you know, so they're going off movement a lot. So, you know, tip number one is entering your damn enclosures, okay? Using your tools, your snake hooks, staying back out of the way, you know what I mean? Away from the opening, because gaboons have that capability of all them crazy directional strikes, okay? Tip number two, okay? The way you're presenting that food item to them, you know, that's a big one because you don't want a, a gaboon, you know, overreaching and passing up the prey at them and maybe hitting you, 
You know, so that's a big one. The way you present that food to a gaboon is very important. Number three is your tools and the prey size. Now, this is to keep the snake safe, okay? Um, this, good. This, bad, okay? You know, nothing large, you know, nothing where you got to get way back. And, you know, let, 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 let's be realistic here, you know. They break fangs off. They bite stuff like this. They're going to they're gonna hurt themselves. And the next thing you know is you got a gaboon with mouth rot or an infection because he broke a fang off or he ended up driving a, driving a fang through his lip or something stupid. Okay, so your tools, you know, long skinny things that you can, you can operate comfortably, you know, and you're giving the snake a better chance of drilling the prey item, which you're going to want to use a prey item of the right size. If you use something too small, a gaboon will hurt himself. I mean, everybody's heard about oh, gaboons can bite through their own bottom jaws. That it happens. It really does happen. I've done it. I've made them mistakes when I was younger. You know, giving them something just a little too small, and they'll bite it and drill it and end up putting a fang right through their bottom jaw. Then you get infected and mouth rot, and that opens up Pandora's box. Okay, so the right size tongs and the right size prey item that keeps the snake safe so let's get to it we're going to do some fangs in your face i'm gonna put the venom cam on here and we're gonna get busy okay guys we're gonna do some feeding starting out this kaboom you know tip number one opening your damn enclosure whatever you got them in you know doing it safely it's basically common sense okay um, if you notice, when I open something, I stand off to the side of it. You want to stay away from that opening. Like I said, gaboons are sight hunters, okay? So I'll use my hook. And now, I won't do these with my hands. I'll close it with my hands, you know, if I'm on the right side. But I'll use a hook to open it, all right? Get that thing open where I need it to be, all right? But I won't step out in front of this, okay? Because that snake's already in feed mode. But, and I'll even... Go in with my tongs and the venom cam from the side like this. You know what I mean? Because I'll have my lights over here. But you'll see. We're going to run it right now, guys. <laughs> We're going to feed this snake. Okay, guys. And tip number two on food presentation, okay? You can see our kaboon. She's back there in the corner, okay? And I'm kind of standing off. I'm going to get off to the side here. All right? And I do what I call the tap, okay? I, now, see that? She just turned her head towards me. I kind of create a vibration and that snake's going to pick up on that vibration and that lets her know this is a food source coming nothing she needs to be afraid of this is a meal coming her way okay and she is she just got into a tense mode i can see it i mean and she's getting ready to pop okay so and i'll go in slowly and i like to go off to the side of them sometimes and i'll find a spot where she wants to take this rodent She's getting ready. Oh, 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 that one spooked me. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, 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 oh. Good job, girl. Now notice the food size, okay? You see where she's got that rat? She's bit at mid-body, okay? It's kind of a little bit towards the back, but she's not at risk at driving a fang through that rat or, or, or a miss and putting a fang through her lower lip, okay? But she drilled that one. That was cool. Fast as lightning. Fast as lightning. You know, and, and Gaboon's being one of the fastest striking snakes in the world, too. You know, you need to do this very carefully. You know, you need, it's a lot of common sense and just taking your time and thinking about it and doing it carefully. But food presentation is a big one with kabooms and the size of your tools, okay? Now, notice when she hit that rat, she had fangs on both sides of my, of my little feeding tongs here, okay? And I was able to slip them right back out of her mouth. Very easy. She didn't get hurt. I didn't get hurt. That is a successful feeding. And a really cool venom cam feeding. <laughs> that was awesome. And these guys, I don't care how many times we do it with gaboons, it never gets stale. But awesome. We're going to move over and feed another gaboon.
Okay, guys, and for our next kaboon to feed, now this snake just happens to be in a defensive posture, okay? So we don't want to spook him and have him explode and jump in the wrong direction. So I need to cue him on, you know, this is tip number two and three together, okay? I need to cue him that this is food coming. So we're going to give this tap. Now notice, did you see that? I don't know if you, if you guys, if we can see that in the camera. He just turned his head ever so slightly. Now, he knows this is a prey source coming, okay? And we're gonna go into the side. And let's wait for the pop. Oh, <laughs> and there you go. There's that sideways strike. The boons can strike in all the craziest directions. It's just amazing. But, and now notice, tip number three, food size. The prey item size. Look at the size of that mouse. It fits perfectly in his mouth. It's not too big. It's not too small. His fangs are buried in that rat, okay? He's got a good bite on it. He's holding it up in the air. As long as you follow your three simple rules, you can feed these things safely without getting bit. <laughs> That's the main goal. And you don't want your gaboon to injure itself. You don't want that snake to hurt itself trying to feed it. And this is a this is a male that I produced last year. And he's a pretty boy. He's like, okay, get that light off of me and let me eat my rat. <laughs> All right, we're going to move over and feed yet one more Gaboon. Okay, guys, and for our last Gaboon we're going to feed today. Now, this is, this is a little female that was born last year here at Venom Central. And she's a pisser, okay? So I got to, I mean, she's still in a, a grow-out tub. So I've got to give her a few taps. Let her know this is a food source coming. But this is one of them snakes that just strikes straight up in the air and you can't put your hand nowhere near over this tub you will get bit you got to kind of do this at a safe distance with her because she is a pisser she's getting ready to go here <laughs> oh, this snake scares me every time. And yes, it does scare me. They just startle you when they explode like that. It's unbelievable. You give her a little shake. There you go, girl. But this animal is just utterly amazing. Look at the color on this kaboon. It's just, it's crazy. This thing is just so beautiful. And I just moved her into this bigger grow out tub just recently. And she's going to need to get bumped up even bigger. Like I said, gaboons grow so fast. They just grow incredibly fast. I mean, and they're they're great captives if they're kept right. If you if you guys want to learn how to take care of gaboons, go on back and watch our um our uh, our our two part series um African vipers thrive gaboons and uh, and puff adders. But um this is probably one of the prettiest babies I've ever produced. But she is just an amazing snake. And I'm keeping her on newspaper until she gets bumped up to a four foot vision. And then we'll put her on mulch. And we're going to back up and let her enjoy this. I got these bright lights on her. And they ain't real crazy about these bright lights. Kind of spooks them a little bit. 
What a cool snake. Yo, Venom Squad. Just a little bonus footage here. We got Rattlesnake X in there. We're going to go ahead and get her on the Venom Cam for the first time. Let's give her a little tap. Okay, she knows there's food in there. And see if we can get a good strike out of her. I don't know. she got the lights on her. She might not dig it. You hungry, girl? Oh, 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 oh. oh, she popped it. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this. We had fun doing it. It's a lot of work doing these videos. Let me tell you, we've been at this all day. But anyways, hit the B logo and subscribe if you want to become a member of the Venom Squad. And come on over and check out Venom Central. This is Willie checking out. Later.